Good morning. I'm Guillaume Gardet. I work for ARM as partner engineer dedicated to SUSE and OpenSUSE. And I will cover what happened uh, since about a year on OpenSUSE side for ARM. I will start with what is OpenSUSE on ARM. Then I will give an overview of OpenSUSE on ARM workflow of the development. And we will see what happened on OBS side, on OpenQA side, and specifically on Tumbleweed, Cubic, Leap. A little word about OpenSUSE wiki. And finally, the, the to-do list. And we will have some time to for Christians at the end of the talk. So what is OpenSUSE on ARM? The short answer is obviously um, OpenSUSE running on ARM ar architectures. What does it mean? Um, we support 32 bits uh, ARM architectures, uh, ARM v6 or for Tumbleweed only. We also support ARM v7 on Tumbleweed and Leap, and also 64-bit architectures on both Tumbleweed and Leap. ARM systems um, are very wide. We cover very small embedded systems such as uh, Raspberry Pi, but we also have uh, some very powerful uh, server systems such as the Thunder X2 from formerly Cavium, now Marvel. And there is some differences between those uh, systems. On embedded world, we are more with custom bootloaders, which is a bit painful sometimes. And on the server side, we use UEFI, so we have a single image, and you can run it on your server. Before talking about the uh, OpenSUSE on ARM workflow, a little word op about an um, OpenSUSE workflow on x86. For Tumbleweed, uh, when we want to update some packages, you submit it to factory. It is reviewed. It is tested. And once accept accepted to factory, uh, it is pushed to OpenQA for further test. And if it's OK, um, the, the update is released to users uh, on download server uh, as Tumbleweed. For the ARM side, uh, we have OpenSUSE Factory ARM project, which is simply a link to OpenSUSE Factory x86. The same for Leap. Uh, we have a, a project link uh, from OpenSUSE Leap 15.1 ARM to the x86 project, which is OpenSUSE Leap 15.1. And so we, are, we reuse all the sources. It's really the same. No patches on top. It's updating in real time. So when you have an update on x86 factory, you get the update on ARM side. And there is just a very small overlay uh, which is available to handle the snapshot version, um, ISO, the content of ISO and FTP trees on the ARM side. Here you have a screenshot of the um, OpenSUSE Leap uh, project. So you can see that uh, we have only four packages for the overlay, and all the rest are inherited packages from the x86 project. So if you want to get an update on ARM side, you have to push it on the x86 side, because we share the sources. So the, the workflow is the following. You submit it to factory, as previously. It's reviewed. It's uh, a little bit tested. And then when it reaches um, factory, it, uh, it is inherited in factory ARM, and then it, 
it is pushed to OpenQA ARM, and if it all is OK, it is released as Tumbleweed ARM. If the OpenQA is not OK, the update is blocked so that users are always fine. Now let's talk about the OBS. Uh, in OBS, we get some servers to get more power to build uh, packages for ARM. So thanks to our sponsor, Marvel, formerly Cavium, which give uh, Thunder X2 machine. Those uh, build powers uh, allowed to remove snapshotting between x86 factory project and ARM project. So now the sources are updated in real time. Previously, we needed to block the updates because it was very too fast. And then Tumbleweed didn't uh, have any time to, to rebuild uh, and push to OpenQA. So now it's OK. It's uh, it allowed to enable more ARM builds in devil projects so that man maintainers can see build failures on ARM earlier and they can fix it when they care. <laughs> Here is a little word about how to enable ARM build in your project. So it can be your own project or devil project. It's the same process. You just go to the repositories uh, tab and then click on add repositories. Then on the second page, you just select the ARM distribution you want to build for. For example, uh, OpenSUSE LIP 15.1 ARM or OpenSUSE Factory ARM. Previously, it was OpenSUSE LIP 15.0 ports because ARM and PowerPC was part of the same OBS project. So maintainers, please enable it and catch uh, build failures for ARM early. ARM containers are, are now published when ARM is released, uh, not when X, X, oh, sorry, X86 is released. It seems obvious, but it was not the case uh, previously. Um, some ARM OBS workers have been updated to better fit requirements of packages. Uh, in fact, we decrease the number of uh, build workers, but increase the CPU, the uh, RAM available. On OpenQA side, how many people know OpenQA here? Yeah. Do you know how it works? Yeah, not so much. <laughs> so a little word about how it works. You have one server uh, chart for all architectures uh, where you have a web in interface and an API. These servers, um, all, the, all the files, I mean ISO, hard disk images, repositories to test. It has also the test suite information and then it controls uh, the test run and stores the test results. Connected to the, this server, you have uh, a number of machines, uh, which can be x86, PowerPC, ARM, whatever. And on those machines, you are running some virtual machine. Uh, here it's Kemu, and you run tests inside it. And for each test, you run some actions and check if the result is expected or not. So, okay. If you want uh, a very complex schematic, you, you can read this. Just go to open.qa slash docs or ask uh, OpenQA guys here. Just a very small example. This is uh, the media check test. It just puts the ISO, start the stack, check installation media, and make sure no error are found. So you can see screenshots, and the screenshots are used to check if uh, the test is OK or not. 
On ARM side, um, in we just uh, test uh, ARMv8, so the 64 bits flavor. Currently, we do not test for ARMv6 or ARMv7. Last year, we used a Seattle machine, uh, which was a six CPU with 32 gig of RAM, and we only run two workers on it. We did a few tests for Tumbleweed and Leap, uh, but with two workers, you are very limited if you want uh, uh, not so long uh, test in OpenQA. Then, at the end of the year, we get a new machine, a D05, which was very more powerful, uh, with 64 CPU, um, 128 gig uh, of RAM, a big SATA disk, and initially we enabled 10 workers on it, and now we are at 16 workers. So we added even more tests uh, for Tumbleweed and Leap, and we now have a very good coverage uh, of OpenQA on ARM. We test, for example, upgrades, PDFS tools, virtualization, RAID, multipass, and etc. Of course, uh, we needed to, to update some tests uh, for ARM because sometimes only x86 is supported in, in ARM in the test. So you, you need to, to update. We got uh, non-ARM specific updates, uh, which include uh, new tests added, of course. Uh, OpenQA has now uh, a good developer mode, which allow you to stop the virtual machine, take a screenshot, save it, and so on. Uh, there is a good script to use uh, when you make a pull request on the GitHub to update test or add new test. And with this script, you can run the test on openqa.opensuse.org and show that it's uh, OK. We added support for huge pages um, with KMU backend and also uh, generic options to be passed to KMU. A few numbers um, from one or two weeks ago. Uh, on Tumbleweed, we have 72 tests now, plus uh, 69 tests to, for the kernel. And on Leap, we have uh, 59 tests. On Tumbleweed, there is eight tests for cubic micro -res. You don't have it on Leap, of course, because cubic and micro -res is a Tumbleweed flavor. On the DVD, you have three more tests on Tumbleweed side. Uh, because LXD pattern is only available on Tumbleweed DVD, so you can test it only on Tumbleweed. And there is just two more tests added recently, OpenQA Bootstrap and OpenScap. On the Net ISO, uh, we have two more tests on uh, Tumbleweed side too, because we create an hard disk image with a released Tumbleweed and test the upgrade from this hard disk image to the tested image. And we also test, we have two to test uh, suite for Justinus RS. A few screenshots from two days ago. So you can see that Tumbleweed ARM is not so bad. Leap 15 has been released, and it was in pretty good shapes. The six failures are not all real failures. You are false positive, and only one real bug. And on Justinus OS uh, images, it's not so good. But it's not very big things. In fact, when you run a very long test run, a single uh, test uh, failure make it all red. So, now let's talk about Tumbleweed. 
Tumbleweed is now officially supported uh, and is no more best effort port for ARM. Well, for ARM, I mean for AR64. It's not the case for ARMv6 or ARMv7. Lots of packages uh, have been fixed uh, on, at build time on OBS, but also on runtime on OpenQA. It includes kernel, Firefox, Chromium, and more. We also added new packages or enabled build for ARM 64-bit. It includes um, LDC compiler, Free Pascal compiler, and more. And we also added some uh, features to existing packages. For example, in Mesa, where we uh, enabled some ARM-specific options. On ARMv7, we enabled um, two more boards uh, on EFI Grub2 support. Uh, it's Sabrite and Chromebook Snow. And we get some boards out of country projects and are now in the upstream factory ARM projects, such as uh, Udo Neo. And thanks to the always up-to-date kernel in Tumbleweed, we get uh, all the improvements uh, we get in kernel upstream. ARM um, AR64 uh, supports also Cubic uh, since January this year. It is tested in OpenQA. Uh, with Tumbleweed. If you want to get more information on it, uh, I added the, um, the link on the slide. Or just go to cubic.opensuse.org and you will, you will find it. On Leap 15.1, just a little word, word about how it is built. Uh, in fact, Lib 15.1 inherits uh, some packages from SLI 15 SP1. Uh, it's for core packages such as GCC, Kernel, Camu. And for the rest, uh, it inherits from Lib 15.0. And if package maintainers want to, they can push updates from Tumbleweed. So this is the case, for example, for Carita or Firefox. And we, of course, uh, fixed some packages built and runtime failure. As for Tumbleweed, we switched to board from ARMv7 family. It's again Sabrite and Chromebook Snow. And now uh, they're ready to, to use images such as Justinus OS or Docker are testing in OpenQA. It was not the case before. And we release uh, always up-to-date images uh, from Lip15.1 uh, project. Yep. A little word about um, OpenSUSE Wiki. The main page for ARM is Portal ARM. On this wiki, you can find uh, some updates, uh, such as on Portal ARM, of course, but also on hardware compatibility pages. We added some, uh, for example, the D05, the Overdrive 1000. And there is an interesting page uh, with tests on systems, uh, which is OpenSUSE supported ARM boards, where you can find uh, if USB or video output is supported and working with Tumbleweed or Leap. Uh, so if you have a, a board, please add it. And if you want to get information, go to, to this page. So a lot have been done, but still 
a long to-do list. We should continue to improve the, the wiki with new information and up-to-date information. We can improve on OBS side. Um, what we need to do is to speed up MV7 images uh, because uh, this is a current bottleneck to get more tumbleweed snapshot. I think we have about 100 MV7 images to build uh, each time. And we should enable ARM build in more devil projects uh, so that people, so that maintainers can catch build failures and fix it early. Otherwise, you have to, to wait that uh, updates reach tumbleweed and someone notice its failure and the fix is much longer this way. We can improve on OpenQA side, um, maybe add more tests for AR64. Why not testing MV7 images? Um, OpenQA allow test on real hardware, so why not test the Raspberry Pi 3, for example? Mm, we can increase the number of OpenQA workers to speed up tests, maybe. And we should m monitor continuously build failures and test failure and fix them as soon as possible. And people, please report the bug you have because I often meet people who told me, hey, I have this problem on this board. Okay, did you feel the bug, a bug or something? Oh, no. So please do it. We need to help some we need some help to test and get feedback on systems people use. Uh, it could be a, a simple board on the embedded side or a big server and told us what is okay, what is broken, and we may fix it. We can add new features such as secure boot, for example. And we need to improve the graphic stack. Uh, on ARM, so it includes PCI Express card, uh, such as NVIDIA, AMD, but also integrated system on chip in, into the system on chip, such as NVIDIA, Adreno, or Mali. And stay tuned on Tumbleweed, because uh, kernel 5.2 and Mesa 19.1 are coming rather soon, and it adds Mali GPU uh, upstream support. So it's currently just an initial support, so don't expect uh, a full OpenCL or Vulkan or whatever. But most part of OpenGL ES 2.0 is supported. So let's see how it goes. And please join us on IRC or on the mailing list and um, have fun. Do you have any questions? Yep. You have a microphone behind, please. Uh, hi. Uh, my question is, you said on ARM v7 we don't have uh, OpenQA at the moment, so is this a problem of human resources to enable and uh, look after them, or is it a problem of hardware? Or, yeah. It's just a, a problem of nobody take care to do it. So we have two options, either add an ARM v7 board, such as an Arndell board, for example, and run workers on it. Otherwise, you can run uh, workers on 64-bit machine uh, with KMU. I just specify that, that uh, you want to use 32-bit uh, uh, instruction. But 
I think we, we will do it shortly. Hi, um, a question about the testing. You mentioned about uh, Raspberry Pi. So does it work? So how does it work for OpenQA so with actual hardware? Which part of the hardware? Uh, with actual hardware, not virtual machine. You mean testing the real hardware yeah, yeah, inside yeah. OpenQA? You mentioned that in the it, last it, slide. So, yeah. Yeah, it is already done in SUSE OpenQA, yeah. so it works. You just need to add it to OpenSUSE OpenQA. So it's just a matter of hardware. All the software is ready to, to support it. Uh -huh. So that means that it doesn't test any specific Raspberry Pi so hardware features. Or how, what kind of things are tested on Raspberry Pi? I'm not sure if you should ask SUSE people <laughs> to know what they, they test. But you, I think you just run the same test as in KMU. You run it on the Raspberry Pi. OK. <laughs> I'll ask later. Thank you. Any more questions? OK, thanks. <laughs>